Well, for more, now we turn to Nancy Cordes. She is in San Diego at the site of today's address. Nancy, first off, do we know anything more about this speech? Is it going to be strictly about Donald Trump and his foreign policy? Uh, good morning. It'll be about both her proposals and Donald Trump's. And she won't just go after what he said on the variety of issues that you've laid out. She will go further and make the case that he is point blank unfit to be commander in chief, to lead the military, to interact with uh, foreign leaders around the world, and that a Donald Trump presidency would actually be dangerous to the United States. She's working to basically disqualify him from being uh, the leader of the most powerful country in the world, arguing that the things that he has said have not only rattled our allies uh, and made them very concerned about uh, the leadership of this country, uh, but also that the American people should be afraid as well. Nancy, a new Quinnipiac poll shows that a number of voters do not believe that Donald Trump will be able to build that border wall or deport illegal immigrants. How does that play into this conversation? It plays into it in the sense that uh, there is this feeling among voters right now, Vlad, that uh, politicians say anything and that they don't necessarily mean what they say. And uh, in a sense that uh, even if someone like Donald Trump says a bunch of things like uh, keeping Muslims out, that uh, his supporters don't necessarily believe that he'd follow through with it, uh, but they like that he's saying it anyway. And that can make it really difficult for someone like Hillary Clinton to come along and say, you've heard what he said, uh, he'd be dangerous because of those proposals. If his supporters like him, uh, despite those proposals, despite the fact that they don't think that he'd follow through with them, it's hard to make those case that those statements are disqualifying. So explain the Clinton's campaign's strategy here, because she's giving this speech when we have the California primary, it's just days away. Why? Well, uh, first of all, it's a way to get a lot of attention, whether she's running in a primary against Bernie Sanders or focused on the general election. San Diego, where we are right now, uh, has a large military presence, uh, so it will definitely get the attention of people who live in this city. Uh, but beyond that, the Clinton campaign believes that they've sort of reached a critical mass now uh, of examples uh, of cases where Donald Trump has been reckless uh, about something as fundamental as national security. And they think that if they can start to build this case early, uh, that he is a dangerous choice for Americans. Not that uh, there's some sort of policy dispute between right and left and that she has better ideas to lead, lead the country, which she will do some of as well, but that this is a bigger fundamental issue of competence, of ability uh, to lead the United States in a dangerous world. If they can show early on uh, that there are serious doubts about his ability to do that, then that will give her uh, an obvious upper hand. Nancy Cordes, thanks so much, Nancy. We appreciate it. You got it.